So yesterday we saw how to photograph the moon from the city. Today we are going to see how we can photograph the sun from the city. Uh, we had the chance in Brussels to have a bit of sun this afternoon. It's four o'clock, so the sun is already setting down uh, behind the building. And uh, that's why I couldn't go on the garden in front of my building because otherwise I couldn't see the sun. And so I had to stay in my apartment at the third floor. And that's why I'm here. You can see the window is closed. And uh, that's because inside my house I have 23 degrees. Outside there are 10, 12 degrees. So if I open the window, hot air, cold air, they mix up and they start to create turbulences. So that degrade the scene and uh, I would never be able to freeze the wobbling of the sun. So keep the window closed if you cannot go uh, outside. Also, this is a double glass window. So try to stay as square as possible with the window because if you tilt much the instrument with respect to the window, you may have uh, a splitting image of the moon or the sun or whatever you are trying to photograph. So try to stay as square as possible, particularly if you have a double glass window. Um, the, because I'm inside the house, it's getting difficult to use an equatorial mount, and that is where the AZ-GTI mount, the one we used yesterday night, is coming to, into play. That is a great piece of kit. All I need to do was to frame the sun with my instrument and tell the mount to point and track. No, the only thing I had to do was to level the, the, the tripod, and that's it. I can't forget about where Polaris is, where the north is. Easy peasy. Um, to photograph the sun, you need one piece of equipment that is a solar filter. Now, a solar filter like so, this is a, um, it's a foil. It's a foil that is mounted on a adjustable, uh, on a cell with adjustable thumb screw so that it can fit uh, a telescope of different diameter. And this is going in front of the instrument. Now, never use different kind filters that are not solar filters, that are not meant to be used for solar photography, and never use a filter that goes on the eyepiece. That's because your telescope is focusing in a, in a, to a point, the sunlight. So if this, if the sunlight is focused on a point on that kind of filter, the filter may break, you may damage your eyesight or your camera. So just always use a full aperture solar filter in front of your telescope. And with that in place, we use the same telescope for the moon. The sun and the moon, they have the same apparent size in the sky, so they are large. The same, whatever works for the moon in terms of, of focal length and aperture works for the sun. Um, we use the same camera, the same Olympus camera that we used yesterday. The only thing is that I have added a 2x teleconverter so that I could get closer to the sun because I'm not interested today to photograph the full sun, the full disk, because a group of sunspots appeared on the surface, so I wanted to close in a bit on those sunspots. So that gives me uh, the, the teleconverter transform my SkyMax uh, to, um, from 1250 millimeter in focal length to 2,500 millimeter in focal length. And because the, I have a, a micro four third camera with a crop factor of two, this is effectively um, equivalent to have a 5,000 um, millimeter telescope on a full frame camera. Okay, so with this setup, you just level the tripod, frame the sun, and then tell the AZ GTI mount to point and track the sun. So before I conclude this video, I want to show you what I was able to get from uh, from the inside the house with this setup. This is the part of the sun that I was able to see at 500 millimeter as focal uh, equivalent focal length. You can see here I have some darkening because the sun was already dipping below the roof uh, of the building in front of me. But you can see the the sunspot that I was talking about. So with a setup like that, or even with your long telephoto lens and a solar filter, this is something you can photograph easily from the city. This is another way to do astrophotography with the sun. Uh, we are of course in the city, this is my apartment. You see that I have my camera. I have a legacy lens, it's a 200 millimeter uh, Olympus Zuiko for OM system, so it's 40 years old 
telephoto lens. I have it on teleconverter, is uh, is doubling the focal of the lens. So this setup at how I set it now is equivalent to a 400 millimeter f11. And because I'm using an Olympus Micro Four Third camera, the field of view I get is about uh, is that of 800 millimeter on a full frame. 800 millimeter f11. Um, I have my full aperture solar filter placed on front of the lens safely in place. And all I need to do is to find the, sky, the, the sun and take a photo. Um, even handheld, it doesn't take long. Uh, it, it may be helpful if you use a tripod, if you need to, fo to, to focus your lens. But since I was using this lens for astrophotography, I know I marked where is the true infinite. So I go there right away and then set my camera to one one thousandth of a second, ISO 200. And I'm ready to go. So the sun, you can find it quite easily, get stable a little bit and snap away. So I just took a few pictures and that's the sun. And hopefully we are be, there is a group of, this is a sunspot and here there is a group of sunspot that is just came into visibility uh, yesterday. So if you want to do sun astrophotography, you don't need a telescope, just a long telephoto lens, your full aperture solar, solar filter, and even undeld, you can snap nice picture of sunspot, uh, planetary transit, even ISS transit, if you are lucky enough.